best form of revision is to start something new. Find a way as soon as possible to learn whether you have what it takes to persist in the face of indifference. Read. Read like crazy. Read everything. And just get it under your belt. Just do it and do it and do it and keep reading it aloud to yourself. I think that's terribly important. Read your own material aloud and develop an ear so that you can hear yourself reading. And if you've got an awkward sentence, it'll jump out at you. Learn how to use strong verbs, for God's sake. Read. I say this in every venue. I've taught at graduate programs at Johns Hopkins, at University of Virginia, at American University, George Mason University. and. I rarely find a graduate student who's in the writing program who's read enough. Understand if you're called to write, if you've been given the gift of writing and the talents, if you work hard diligently at that gift, it will bear fruit. What makes you a writer is finishing a piece of work. You should always have something in the mail so that when it comes bouncing back, and it will come bouncing back, depressingly, discouragingly, it will come bouncing back. And say get a great big mailbox, a big rural mailbox, to hold all your rejected manuscripts. Because you don't want them to get rained on, and also you don't want the neighbors to see them. Choose a writer you really like and emulate them. Keep writing, and keep writing good stuff, and keep submitting it. And it, and it really is true that there are very successful books that were turned down by 18, 19, 20 different publishers. As writing short stories is very helpful. You've got to be able to write imaginative work before you try to write screenplays. Secondly, don't think that the screenplay you write is going to be accepted by Hollywood. But if it has good dialogue, it has a point, it's an example of how well you might be able to write if they gave you a job rewriting somebody else's material. Get out with other writers, rub elbows so that you begin to find out uh, this is what this one does, this is what that one does. And, and you find that you're not alone in your suffering. The muse visits during the art, not before it. People wait for inspiration. They wait for the muse to come and inspire them. The muse has never in the entire history of writing ever visited an author who is looking at a blank page. Uh, the, the most crucial thing that I learned when I was writing was how important it was to write at least a page a day. A lot of people have great stories for novels. A lot of people have the desire or the talent to write a novel. Uh, a lot of people talk about it. Well, I'm going to write that book one of these days. I'm going to write that short story one of these days. You know, it's just it's there. I'm going to do it. I know I can do it, but they never get around to doing it. Um, but you have to write the first page, and then you have to write a page every day. And sometimes that, I mean, sometimes that would take me 15 minutes to write that page. Sometimes it might take two hours. 